everybody welcome back to yakuza like a dragon last time we figured out curious sadly has cancer and has half year to live Hello. and I, I wouldn't be shocked if at the end of the game it takes about six months for the story to take place and kiryu passes hopefully it doesn't happen though and then we help the kid with the lemonade sand that's basically it Give me the biggest shave ice you got, please. Oh, of course, right away. Oh, which flavor you like, sir? No, no flavor. Just give me the ice. Um, all right. Just a moment. I don't understand. Is that guy just going to eat uh, ice? Here you go, sir. Uh, large shave ice, no flavoring. Oh, okay, much obliged. Yeah, what does he want with that? Oh, he wants snow. Is that my guess? Huh? Oh. Uh, uh. Damn it! What's with this guy? Okay, with him throwing the air, I thought he wants snow. Guy, is he all right? Which, uh, if he does, snow, I actually personally I like it. If you don't get too much. Hey, Mister. You, uh, overheating or something? Wouldn't want to catch a cold. Huh? Who are you? If you got a better idea, tell me. Otherwise, shove off! Sorry? Damn it. I ain't got time for this crap. Maybe if the ice were more powdery, it'd turn to snow. I gotta try! Yep, he wants snow. Did he say snow? Let it snow. Yeah, that's probably the one bad thing about Hawaii. No snow. Oh, now he's up there. Oh, jeez. He teleported. I mean, I don't blame people who have never experienced snow wanting to experience it. Like, I've never experienced tropical weather. Maybe one day. I need to use this more. It's not a short shit here. Wow, people want to beat me up because of my face. Bring it on. Got some menacing men. Right. Let's go. Here I come. Ooh. Oh, I just got $23 back from dying last time. Hello. Oh, we're full buddies. Oh, okay. You're not listening to me. I just said ice, no damn syrup or fruit. What? Look, old man. I've had. I heard from the other shops. Go around buying ice and covering your face in it or whatever. I take pride in what I sell, so I'm not gonna let you get your jollies off of the product. If you need to cool down, take a swim. Or if you're angling for some weird lawsuit against us, you should just give up. What the hell are you talking about, jollies? I'm being serious here. Please. Next customer. Damn, the old man's got himself blackballed by every shave ice place around here. Guess that's no surprise. Man, I'm curious what the guy's goal is. Yo. Hey, oh man. Mm hmm? Huh? Oh, you again. You laugh at me that I can't keep chucking ice into the sky like a damn fool I am? I wouldn't do that. I'm just curious what you're trying to accomplish. You seem pretty serious about it. You mentioned turning the ice into snow, right? Y yeah. Hmm. Ain't like I was trying to quench my thirst on straight ice. It's for my wife to show her some freshly fallen snow. Hmm? In Hawaii? You have better odds taking a trip to, I don't know, Alaska or somewhere. Don't you think we would have if we could have? My wife's sick. Ain't much able to get out of bed anymore. She could go any time now. So, I've been asking for something. Anything I could do for her. 
most of the time she's not all there when we talk, but I damn well hear her say, I want to see the snow with you again. We have some good memories in the snow. <laughs> Went to Japan on our honeymoon, you know. That was the first time we saw the stuff. We both felt like we'd been whisked away to another world. Anyways, promised her we'd go again someday, but, well, you know how life can be. Hard to take off time from work for something as silly as snow. I never made much money, so I've always worked doubly hard for my family. All this time, I'm not sure how she felt about that. And now it's too late to ask. All I know is she's always been there for me without a word of complaint. Funny. It's the only thing. It's the only. Th it's only after I retired and could start making plans that we realized how shit sick she was. Oh. We missed the early warning signs. It. It was too late by then. I'm so sorry. She gave me everything she had in her this life, and I can't provide her this one damn thing in return. And to think, I was excited when she first said she wanted to see snow again. Figured it'd be easy, and I could make her happy. For all I know, she too had been out, out of it and realized, but maybe I just need to feel like I did something for her. I was thinking maybe I could ha uh, have some airlifted from another country, but... There's just no time. So, all you can think of is shave ice. And you're trying to see if it would fall down like snow. I get it. How? I might have tried something as cra just as crazy in your shoes, but in this heat, there's no way to build up deep, uh, up without melting. And now I can't even buy more of what I wanted to. What do I do? It can't end like this, can it? Got it. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. huh? I appreciate you telling me your story, but now there's no way I could just wish you luck and head off. We're in this together. Leave it to me. Let me try to think of something. You should go home and be with your wife. Hi. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mean to care so much for an old man chucking ice onto himself. Name's Orlando. You? Ichiban Katsuka. I'm from Japan, actually. Oh. I'm kidding. Japan, huh? Maybe this is fate. <laughs> of course, I can't exactly say I've got any great ideas off the bat. Give me a little time, if you can. I will. For now, it's nice just to know someone from the country that meant so much to my wife and me is willing to help. You got it. I'll get in touch with fine leads. See you soon. Mm, see ya. No, huh? Jeez, how are we gonna pull that off? Eh. How? Oh, apparently we're pulling it off there. Um... Let's do a few more side quests. What? I'm not even staring. What? The sandbagger? Let's get it done. Something wrong. I won't hold back. Alright. It will tell you that work. Actually, I don't want to do swimwear.
What's up, Nancy? You want to play or something? Nancy Chan! Well, I guess it's been a while since you got to stretch her legs. I'll let her have some fun. Oh, hold on. Is salt water safe for her? Yeah, well, I, she survived the Eugene Cho sewage after all. That can't be any worse. Man, I'm so happy Nancy is in this game. She's such a good girl. I toast off. Where's Nancy? Oh, gotcha. Hey, time to pack up for now. Oh, Nancy likes the crab? Oh, that thing's shiny. Guess the prettier the ocean, the prettier no, the crab. That's a lot. Yeah, there's a crab, okay. Actually, yeah, that is a shiny shell. Oh. Nancy? Are you in love? Oh, this is gonna be a weird sub story. Coming on for shell. Okay, we're doing it. We're gonna hook Nancy up. I never expected to be playing matchmaker for Nancy. Hello! Knock it off! It's a scare! Oh, oh no! Nice. I'm staring at you, mysterious man. Follow my lead. Sure what his problem is, but hopefully that I don't know. I... Oh wait, I knew I saw something. Frozen fish. Treasure in the sand, huh? I wonder if there's more out there. I won't exactly call it treasure. Oh. The thing is, is where do we continue Nancy's quest? It's just gone. Bring it on. Do you guys have something that much against me that you have to beat me up? Looks like I'm up. You're in it now. Oh, something wrong. there's a lot of people now that look. It's a road, loser. <laughs> Screw you, Lotion. Follow my lead. Ocean. I didn't mean to do that. Out in the ocean, you can paddle around with left joystick and break into a brisk front crawl with the uh, A or right trigger. If uh, if it's items you're looking for, investigate any lights you see rise from the depths and dive with X. Make sure you mind your surroundings, though. You'll take damage if you're hit by a passing boat. So this is how you... Okay. I'm gonna go back to shore. I could do this one later on my own time. I doubt people want to launch me farm for the recycling points. Hey, you! Get out of my 
The battle is on. Looks like I'm up. You're in it now. Here I come. Whoops, didn't aim at the ball. Follow my lead. Oh, we're bleeding. That's the first time I've seen bleeding in this game. What's going on? I'm gonna ignore that because there's a dog I can get food to. Um, I have no idea what's happening. Not good enough. You couldn't blow a breeze like this, much less a storm! Do you see a single strand of my hair moving? What's going on over there? Are they just banning that guy? Maybe I should go check it out. You have to become the wind itself! If you can't move my hair, you'll never move hearts! Sir, my arms are at their limit! I don't think I'll ever fan again! Damn it! What am I gonna do? Maybe if we made the fans even bigger. Yay! Uh, what's going on? Uh, huh? I, I was just passing by, heard the shouting, saw the fans. Everything okay? You know, if you're hot, you should go inside. All the buildings here have the AC running. Oh, we're damn hot out here for sure. The fans aren't to keep cool. We need. A storm. Rock and roll? A uh, storm? A storm. A storm? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Cosme Evolution, God of Rap. Cosme. I guess you're uh, an actual, probably Japanese person that is a musician, maybe. I don't know. Kazuga, sorry, I don't know much about music these days. I'll look you up sometime. What's up? So, what were you doing earlier? Uh, what were you just doing? Let me restart that over. So, what were you doing just earlier? You were mentioning something about a storm? It isn't obvious. We were here to film my new music video. When I wrote the track, I keep envisioning this rolling, raging ocean, so I dragged the team to Hawaii to make that dream a reality. Guess they call it the Pacific for a reason, huh? Because it's pacifist. Ugh, stupid, placid ocean. It just keeps sitting there. This is costing us a fortune. Every morning, the weather's calmer, more idle. Idyllic than the last. I haven't seen a damn microbe of a cloud. First, we took the opportunity to swim around and enjoy ourselves. So the team at least got to have a little fun. That's a relief. 
But then the days kept going and nothing changed. We tried everything to get the wind blowing. Like these fans. Yeah, like the fans. Do you even know how expensive it is to fly all our crap out here? The fans are all we could still afford. Hmm. Nature is supposed to isn't supposed to triumph over man. Hmm, so long as there's no wind, you're out of luck. What are you gonna do? Cut your losses, head back to Japan? No way. Hell no. I can't let that ocean win. I'll stick it out until I'm bankrupt. Hear that? Everyone, break time's over. Resume Operation Fan Blast. I think if we change angles, it's time we'll nail this thing. Right. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are pretty dedicated. We know how much Kazumi-san has invested in this song, this song, emotionally and financially. We want, we all want to help him succeed. Otherwise, we'll just be known as a bunch of dipshits that flew to Hawaii instead of promoting their sing single. Hate to tell you, that sounds pretty accurate. So, we're gonna shoot the best music video ever and make Kazumi Evolution Worldwide Superstar, right? Guys, hey. Well, I'm glad you're all motivated, but there's still a matter of the wind. Hmm. It's not fair. With our combined passion, we should be able to move mountains. Damn it! It's one little storm and not too much to ask for. I refuse to call it quits after bringing everyone here. Not when we're all at this amazing beachfront. This song was made for a roaring sea. We just need some wind. Damn. Bastard ocean. I never seen someone get so mad water. It's kinda sad. Hmm. Sorry, man. Wish I could help, but I can't control Mother Nature any more than you all. You all. It's kinda good song, right? Tell me, do you know Hawaii pretty well? Hmm? Hmm, I haven't been here too long, but I at least left the beach, I guess. Okay, so maybe uh if you're running some kind of weather changing device or Wind magic or something, you'll let us know. It's a big island, right? You've gotta have something out there. Something better than Operation Fan Blast. And, well, I can't afford to pay any more money, but if you find anything, I promise I'll make it up to you. Uh, alright, I hear you. Uh, you can stop bowing. It's obvious how desperate you are, so yeah. If somehow, if I somehow find a way to conjure a storm, I'll tell you. Just hang out for a little bit longer and try not to get your hopes up. Thank you. You're the best. I feel my faith renewing already. Hey. Right, everybody? Yeah. We believe. Bye. I'll come by again later. Don't kill yourselves over an oper on Operation Fan Blast for them. Got it. We'll wait for you, Kazuka-san. I swear to God, if I find a device that changes the weather, it's going to be hilarious. How the hell do you conjure a storm? Well, if this right, was come on. if this was one piece, you could just use that rain powder. Oh wait, what? A bear? Really? Apparently, right there's how you conjure a storm. Let's 
Looks like I'm up. You're pathetic. Oh. Ah. I won't hold back. Bench? No. <laughs> What's the hold? Alright. The Ecklar. Alright, the big dogs basically down. Follow my lead. They definitely make combat harder, which is a good thing. Don't get caught. I think All there's right. nothing around to grab. Sadly, no. I'll grab you. You. Learning more every day. Oh, so, like my boyfriend told me he can't sleep and blah blah blah. blah. Crazy, I got it. Oh. This might be the best thing What's up here? Healthy Smile Pharmacy. Aloha! Ooh, we got the good stuff. I should buy a first aid kit. I'll buy one. Thank you! That is the I am desperate, oh god, please help me kit. Alright, happy is happy. What are you doing over here? Hey boy, hey, I a hottie. You know, like hot, like mega hot. So, don't you want Hong Kong for a hottie? Only 500, if you could believe it. Ah, uh, not right now. Hmm. Good luck finding such a hottie Hong Kong anywhere else. Oh, it gone? What in God's name is a Hong Kong? Okay. Hmm. Oh, I was trying to carry it on my damn back. Hmm? Carry what exactly? Oh, that. I no. I'm no fool. Do you think you could take me somewhere I could sit comfortably? Hmm. Fall no fall over like this. It's no way to die. Got it. Don't talk like that. Just just stay still and hold on. Oh, that's much better. Thanks for carrying me, my stuff. Heavy old heifer, ain't she? Don't worry about it. We are, we're all in this together, right? Mm, you're good. What's your name, friend? Take it for you're from overseas? Totally. Kazuga. Ichiban Kazuga. Yeah, I'm Japanese. Just got here recently. Oh. How about that? My name's Thomas. Sorry to waste your precious vacation time nursing an old man. <laughs> no problem. You shouldn't push yourself too hard, though. What's... It, what is all that anyways? Important? Yeah. Work tools. Sent home and thought I still had it in me to haul them all myself. Old mule that I am. Normally the missus give me a ride, but she had a little conflict of her schedule today. Uh, it'll be a good exercise, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, learn me. Do yourself a favor, take a taxi next time, yeah? So what kind of work do you do anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Piqued your curiosity, have I? Well, I owe you. Take a gander in there for yourself. Don't mind if I... Hmm? Huh? Got a fancy hat in here. Necklace, too, and staff. 
Are you some kind of street performer? No. Hey, way off. I'm a shaman boy. Those are what I use for my rituals. Uh, what? No. Yeah. A shaman. Never heard of one? We foretell prophecies, conduct sacred ceremonies, commune with elemental spirits. For real? Uh, seriously? You're like a real-life manga character. I have no idea what that means, but sure, maybe. Wow. Whoa, that's amazing, old man. You really use this stuff to do magic? It doesn't seem very mystical. Yeah. Truthfully, I'm a bit different from most other shamans. I wonder what the other ones are like. Wizards, probably? My specialty, you see, is the air itself. I'm what they called a wind shaman. No kidding. I once saved a farmer's entire crop of grain by restarting his windmill. And another time, the old woman's hat got stuck in a tree. She cried and cried till I blew it down for her. Is this guy serious? It's funny. You know I'm capable of seeing the future and speaking to the dead. Most requests I get are wind-related. So, you can really, like, control the weather? Hmm? Hmm, it feels like I'm forgetting something. Didn't someone need something like that? Well, I think my back's on the mountain. Thanks, friend. I should be getting home now. I'll call the missus and have her pick me up. She won't be long now. Sup? Hey, uh, Thomas. I think I can ask you a favor. Eh? Oh, what's on your mind? This old man really can contact the spirits of wind and see the future and stuff. There's one thing I definitely need him for. Tell me the lotto number. Uh, ask spirits for a storm. Of course. Of course, that Kazumi evolution guy was desperate for a storm over by the beach. The sky looks absolutely clear. No chance of one coming naturally, but... Maybe the Wind Shaman could really do it. Not like I've got any other ideas how to control the weather. What's up? Do you think you can ask the spirits to summon a storm? Hit? Huh? What do you mean exactly? Yeah. You see? Oh, got a burp. Come on. Don't fight it. We're good. You see, there's this rock singer over by Aloha Beach right now. He came over here to shoot a music video in front of the stormy ocean, but the ocean's not cooperating. His money's pretty much run dry. Is there any way you'll be able to help him? Hmm. Hmm. I've never called the spirits to assist with a music video. But if it weren't for you, I'd have died on my back like a helpless old tortoise. I, uh, you wouldn't have died. Someone would have picked you up, man. Seriously? You'll do it? <laughs> Thanks, old man. However, hmm? uh, with the state my back's in. I may not be able to pour, perform the ritual myself, but I do it in my place. Huh? Say what? I'll serve as a catalyst. Once you summon the spirits, I can entreat them to create your storm. <sighs> Is this really the only way? Oh, that must be his wife. Hey! Ah, there you are, dear. Is everything alright? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Look who it is. Kazuga, this is the missus. Dear, meet helpful Mr. Kazuga. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kazuga. I hope my husband didn't cause you too much trouble. No trouble at all, really. Yeah. Seems like Kazuga's from Japan, and he's got a musician friend who needs some wind for his music video. Would you believe that? I'd like to give uh, give him some help, if you indulge me. Oh my, a musician all the way from Japan, you say? Hmm. How exciting. Be sure to get them lots of wind, dear. Well, thing is, Kazuka here's got to step in. I need to rest my back a little, a little while longer. Sup? Right, so, um, how exactly do I do this thing? Oh, I'll explain at the beach. Why don't you lug the box over there for now while I make my preparations? Alright. Now bear with me. Where exactly will you be situated? Any prominent buildings close by? Hmm? Um, we'll be on the Easter Edge, I think. Right by the place called Aloha Beach Juicery. Hmm. Huh, I see, so that means direction to the sea would be. Uh huh, got it! Mahalo Nui. See you soon! Huh, got pretty focused there for a second. Guess you have to be on your game when it comes to spirits. Right, I have to take the stuff over to the beach. 
You know, I wasn't expecting a shaman. Just saying. Hey, I got a kooky taxi. It's not crazy taxi. Kooky taxi. Wait. Yep. Oh, wait. No, I'm about to run to Nancy Chan. Nancy! How dare you interrupt me with my Nancy Let's Chan? I won't hold back. Alright. Oh. Ah, time. What's the hold up? I'll knock your lights out. Ow. Ah. Follow my lead. My heart. Oh, no. Who do I add it in? Hmm. That's the flashy hermit crab Nancy took a liking to. She still seems kind of enamored. I could let her play here for a bit. Have fun, girl. Sup? Hey, Nancy. Wanna go see your friend? You go, Nancy. Looking sharp, Nancy. Oh, damn! Talk about the cold shoulder. Do crabs have shoulders? Hey, hey, cheer up. It's all right. You'll get him next time. <laughs> have to admit, I had got no idea how this is supposed to go between crustacean, crustacean, crustacean. Oh, Jesus, crustaceans! I wish I could help you out. Believe me, I know how scary it is to put yourself out there. When you like somebody. Mm. The crabs seemed a little wary of strangers. Maybe you could bring him a gift to make a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's find a nice present and come back later. Hmm, wonder what a hermit crab would like. Flowers? There were small ones at Momo Street. We're hooking Nancy up. All right, back to conjuring a storm instead of conjuring love. Hello. Hey. I'm a tree nudger. Man, a lot of people on the Hello. beach. Oh, hi. Ah, they're still attempting it. Guys, I got great news for you. Oh, wait. Alright. You're now buddies. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's raining. Looks like Kazumi Evolutions. To I should go tell him about the shaman I met. Go! Any storms a brewing yet? It was just raining. Ah, Kasuga-san, see for yourself. There's not even a breeze. We're at our limits here. Kasuga-san, please. Have you found anything? Maybe a giant industrial fan or a... <laughs> nope. No giant fan, that is. Aloha. You the one? The rock and roll singer? Huh? Who's this guy? This is the Wind Shaman, Thomas, Lord of the Winds! <laughs> Just Thomas. Nice to meet you. What the hell is a Wind Shaman? Look, he's like a wizard of wind magic. He can create a storm for you guys. Wait, seriously? Well, yeah. Honestly, I've never heard of it either, but even if it sounds crazy, I can't think of any other way to control the weather. He said he once saved an entire crop for a farmer and got a woman out of a tree. No, uh, a so woman's hat. I'm sure he can help you, right? All right. We've got nothing else to go on anyway. 
if you really think it's better than Operation Fan Blast, it has to be. Let's do it, Thomas! <laughs> Not gonna lie, the way he said Thomas, it sounded like, let's go, dumbass. Just saying. Let us begin. Let's go, dumbass. Um, uh, hold up. I, <laughs> I love the hat as a pinwheel. He has a pinwheel hat. I thought he was the shaman. Don't start with this. Thomas threw his back out, all right? I'm pitching in. If Kasuga follows my directions and performs a ritual precisely, it will be more than enough. After he summons the spirits, I'll be able to communicate with them. You will get your storm. I got a feeling if... <laughs> Two scenarios hit my mind of what's going to happen. One, absolutely nothing. Two, the storm is bigger than we wanted, therefore they can't shoot their music video. <laughs> Just be ready to rock and roll, son. Uh, okay, this all sounds pretty out there, man, but okay, I'll get things ready here. It's time, Kasuga. Do as I say without any hesitation. Okay. Understand? The spirits of wind are notoriously fickle. You must not try their patience. Understood. I got this. <laughs> First, to pay respects to the land and the sea, the prayer of supplication. Raise your arms, kneel down, bow twenty times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, oh. Brilliant! They are coming! The spirits are coming! No shit? Yes, you are drawing them forth! Now you must hold their attention by extending your arms then shake your hips 20 times and sexily. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> My eyes are blue. Excellent. They're looking. They're enamored with you. Hell are these spirits into? <laughs> yes, you won their hearts, son. Mm. All that remains is to convey your wish for a storm. Break dance, spin 30 times, and then shout, Come on, big storm! <sighs> All right. Now! Come on, big storm! That's what I expected. <gasps> oh. Please tell me you were able to order. It it's coming on! The spirits are real, I can't believe it. Wind shamans forever. <laughs> no, no way! Ah, shit, no cameras! Oh, oh, everybody go, everybody go! Shoot everything! Oh, yeah! I honestly am shocked that worked. <laughs> 
Kasuga-san! Thomas! Huh? We did it! Everything went perfectly! That was better than we ever could have imagined! We've got to start editing! I have to say, Kasuga-san, before you showed up, things seemed hopeless. Hell, I, I was ready to head back to Japan and film at Lake Biwa. I mean, shamanism or whatever didn't mean shit to me. But the way you kept on dancing, Kasuga-san, that was pretty fucking sick! Uh, you moved the wind itself through sexiness! Guess that's the power of faith, huh? Thomas! I, I swear I'll tell your story! The wind shaman of Hawaii! I'll write a song about Hawaii. it! Hawaii! Is that right? I am honored. A big rock hit like that will surely pick up business for me. <laughs> this is all I have to say thanks. For now. Please, take it. Death Boomba. Oh! Yeah, Breaker, right. It gives you extra XP. At least it didn't like a dragon. I don't know what it does now. Well, we've got our flights home book, so it's time to jet. Peace out, you two. Stream the video once we get it online. Will do. Looking forward to it. Hey, it's still windy. <gasps> Hell of a story, huh? Uh, oh, that ritual really is hard on the back. No, you see. Never let him say shamanism isn't tough work. Huh. The wind's not easing up at all, is it? Hey, you think the spirits like this? I got a feeling. There's gonna be a giant fan somewhere, isn't there? This place? Perhaps so. Let's try something. Big storm! Stop! <sighs> Guess not. I knew it! <laughs> I see him! Yep, 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 yep. I knew it. The wind! It's slowing down! Do you think I might actually have shamanistic potential? Anything's possible, son. Perhaps I'll apprentice you. <laughs> okay, okay. That makes more sense than actually shamanism. Oh, he's a pound mate. Interesting. Oh, I like the twist on that one. It's like, oh my god, shamanism is real? No, no, it's not. Right, I was gonna have to buy flowers at Momo Street or something like that. Oh, yep, there it is. We're doing this for Nancy. She deserves love. I don't feel like fishing yet. Oh, wait. Hey, it's the other me. Yo, Mr. Kazugo. We saved you a bento from the last staff lunch. Oh, thank you. Hey, man. I liked your quest. It was pretty good. I'm shocked it did as well as I did. Alright, let's go get some flowers for Nancy. Feel good to go. Hey guys, just ignore me. Hmm? Hey, take a look. Those are pretty, huh? What do you think, Nancy? Would your crab friend like these? Sup? Why don't you pick one? For them. <laughs> Glad I left it in your capable claws. Okay, let's go see if they like your present, yeah? We're doing this for Nancy. 
the thing. When we first met Nancy, it was a homeless guy who we actually threw her in the sewage, and then we got her back for the homeless guy who was raising her. Ends up he raised her just to eat her. And then, of course, we saved her by buying the guy a bento box. Hello. What's up, yo? Ah. And then she becomes a really decent summon that causes bleed. <laughs> Come on, we got this, Nancy. You got this. <laughs> Look, he got scared, went back inside. That's dope. No. You want it. <laughs> well, reach in the pull out again, dork munch. <laughs> what if we poured it like hot water in a shell and make it come out? Hey, that's the hermit crab Nancy likes. Those kids are bullying them. <laughs> I can't run in the sand fast enough to stop them, but say, what if I. Yo. Hey, Nancy. Do you like flying? <laughs> totally. Flag of pincers. Yes. No. No. Mighty throw. Let's do this. Full power. Wah. Too much spice on that one. What the crap? What? That's some kind of pissed off lobster? Dude, toss it in the ocean. It's gonna pinch off my fingers. Oh, I hate these things. Let's get out of here. Oh, that <laughs> was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Nicely done, Nancy. <gasps> Looks like you two are having a little are a little closer now. Yay! Hey, yo, were you able to break the ice? Okay. Happy you here. Happy to hear it. Let's come back and visit again soon. Man, that shell really is glamorous. It's like some kind of jewel. <laughs> You're really saying treasure washed up on this beach? Hmm? Hmm? All I know is an old cargo ship ran aground here sometime way back. They never recovered all the loot. Could be some jewels still out there. This coast has a wonky tide. Stuff is still stuff still washing up to this day. Ah. Yeah. If it weren't for the little islands clusters up nearby. <laughs> oh whoops, I think I misread that. Still, who doesn't like a treasure hunt? Maybe I'll take the kid's claim digging here this week. D the kid's clam digging here this week. <laughs> Good idea. Get some quality time while you can. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I'll just... I'm just overthinking things, but... I hope nothing ha uh, happens to that hermit crab. Oh, that was worth a laugh. I overthrew Nancy. I am a horrible person. That was hilarious. I'm like full power. Let's. Oh damn! It's trying to get hit by a car. I'm very curious how much damage I get to I take. But whatever. Nancy? No. Wait. Nancy. I'm feeling good. I don't. Know. I'm just here for the free magazine. Hey there. Hey, you heard about Olivia the Hermit Crab? Hmm? Oh, uh, you mean the one with the shiny shell? I've seen it apparently, I think. Didn't know it had a name. 
Well, the crab lives in a shell-shaped jewel they recover from a wreck ship called the Olivia. Huh, clever, kinda clever. Hey, why don't we go search the beach for it? A precious jewel, not worth anything for anyone on the back of some fish or whatever it is. Everyone's with a with a claim and to it's probably long gone. I say we sell and get rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Let's go get that treasure. Might even be more around for the taking, too. Uh-oh. <sighs> Shipwreck jewels. Damn. That hermit crab Nancy's into must be Olivia. I should head back to the beach. Olivia, the name of the crab because of the ship name Olivia that I got shell probably from oh my god oh if i could throw nancy at full power again i love the girl but i'm gonna do it that was too funny Ow. Ow. hey man nancy your boyfriend's in trouble Hmm, no sign of Olivia. Hopefully she's somewhere safe. Oh, Olivia's a girl. Never mind. Guess I'll check again later. Wait. The flower. Yo. Hey, Nancy. Oh, no. Someone stole the shell and they're in a can, aren't they? Whoa. Eh, a crab. Wait. Oh no, is that Olivia? How do you know she was in there, Nancy? My precious jewel's not doing anything for anyone on the back of some fish or whatever it is. Oh, jeez. Olivia, not only did they steal your home, you had no place to go but that crummy can. The guys who took your shells will still be nearby. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, oh, easy there, Nancy. Easy. Don't worry. I'm not going to let you sleep in squalor. This is a way better love story than Twilight. Oh. Who knows how many jeweled out crabs there might be. We gotta find him. <laughs> uh, look at one by one's a pain in the ass. Let's just net them all while we're here and hit the jackpot. Bastards. Hey, did you steal that fancy shell from the hermit crab around huh? here? Huh? Uh huh. Piss off, old man. If you're after a piece, you're out of luck. We cleaned out the rest of the beach. And we got dibs on this last spot, too. <laughs> Olivia shells ours. <laughs> That's gonna fetch one pretty penny. Look, I'm asking you to give that shell back, please. Huh? Huh? Give it back to who? The crab. It was cruel of you to take it. Give back a present jewel to some disgusting crab. You're out of your head. I'm not the one chasing crustaceans around the beach and mugging them. Get the hell out of here. This conversation's over. Gotta convince them somehow. What do you know? Oh. Hey. Listen. Have any of you actually lost everything you have? Do you know what it's like to be totally abandoned? Huh? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Not too long ago, I was at rock bottom. Had no friends, no family, no home. Can't you understand how terrifying that is? I'll never forget the feeling of being cast off by society. Of being having to beg and fight for scraps in the world without any pity. He's just... He just keeps on talking. Oh no. Mm. This guy really isn't normal. Taught me the value of helping out others, even strangers you'll never see again. We're all in this together, so come on, give me the shell back, huh? and 
We ain't giving back shit. You lost me five words into that candy ass mom. <laughs> yeah, I had the feeling the speech wasn't gonna help. And I hate to say buying it wasn't gonna help. It's just, yeah. I'm done listening to this hairball. Huh? Yeah, we're wasting good cramp time. Let's kick his ass and get on with things. <laughs> he likes crabs so much, we'll feed him back to him. Fine, that's how it has to be. This will be a good workout. The battle is on. I like this quest, it's funny. Follow my lead. Oh, nice. Let's get it done. Oh, come on. Break. Something wrong? Nah, I'll just finish you. Looks like I'm up. <laughs> Oh, I'm almost dead. Alright. Yeah, they definitely made the battles in the game harder. I actually die a few times. What? What the hell's with this guy? Not some weirdo crab nerd that strong. I got called for. <gasps> Look, whatever, man. Okay, we're leaving. We won't come back to this beach again. Well, oh well. Got my shell. Huh? Nancy? Where'd she go? <laughs> Yo, Olivia. Got something that belongs to you. Ah. Then again, hard to shake the feeling that as long as you got this, more people will try and take it from you. Oh! Nancy's got a new shell for Olivia! Nancy? I see. You went off looking for something better. Choice is yours in the end, Olivia. There we go. Look at that. Olivia's happy. And Nancy's happy. <laughs> Fits all right? That looks very nice on you, Olivia. A good, honest home. Everyone deserves that. Speaking of, let's head back. Oh. Is Nancy gonna stay? Do you want to join us? Oh, wait, no, Olivia's coming. Welcome to the party. Oh, nice. Olivia and Nancy. Jewel shell. Beautiful jewel turned makeshift shelter. Thankfully, Olivia has no need of it anymore. Oh, Nancy and Olivia are pal mates. Nice. Because Nancy was a pal mate in the first game. That one, I'm wondering how good it is. Oh, that was a good side quest. Oh, well, especially if you like Nancy. Okay, all my side quests are on the... Oh, my God. Why well, you got a feeling Hawaii is bigger than this? This is just Aloha Beat. Oh, well, yeah. I have a feeling the map's bigger than this. Just saying. Alright. I could do... Um, I'm almost dead. I <laughs> I also want to do more side quests because I'm actually really enjoying them. Nancy Chan. I can't even change classes yet. I'm just, I'm not dragging my feet. I'm just enjoying a game. Food, 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 food,
Ooh, okay, let's see. What'll I eat in real life? Oh, I, I would love to have an ice cone of coffee. A hot dog's a good classic. I'd eat that in a heartbeat. I would love to try some fresh tropical juice. Mango smoothie could be really good. That is 100% a given. I love french fries and potato wedges. A fruit parfait. Mmm, could be good. I do not care for the taste of coconut, but coconut milk could also be really good. And mango shaved ice. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, this is evasion. Okay. Yeah, that was great. Arigato. Okay, okay. Um, I'll do a few more, why not? Also, I really want to get over here to that side quest. Oof. But, and there's these, there's a link right here, there's another link right there. Terror, terror, Tommy. Turo, 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 turo. What do you want? Nothing, leave me alone. Holy cow. Alright, I think I already waved to her. Alright, just go in the ocean. Who is screaming? Oh, it's just a guy. Okay. Let's do this. Let's dive in! Yeah, that's some actually pretty decent looking water. Hmm. Over there. Someone's drowning. Crap, I'm so far away. I need to get there. Hang on! Hey, you there! Help me get him back to shore. Every second counts now. Yeah, okay! Lifeguard on duty. Is he okay? He's not breathing. Damn! He needs CPR. Stat! Yeah! You got this, man! You really came through there, champ. Thanks. That guy gonna be alright? No, he sadly died. Oh yeah. I spoke to the EMTs. Thanks to our quick action, he'll be just fine. Oh, whew. That's great to hear. Couldn't have done it without you, big guy. No, no, it's funny. That side quest has been available for a good couple hours. That guy's been drowning for a couple hours. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Raymond, lifeguard on duty. Nice to meet you, Raymond. Beach guardian, water, water everywhere. Kasuga, that's cool. Lifeguarding, is that like a volunteer gig? Son, I'm no volunteer. Saving lives is a full-time job around here. Oh, okay. I take it you're not from around here. In America, people like us are essential. Good afternoon, Raymond. You on patrol today? Always glad to see you. Yes, sir. The waves are a bit high today, so I don't want to see you going out too far. I hear you, I hear you. Even the best swimmers get pulled under sometimes, as you're so fond of saying. Well, hello there, Raymond. Oh, he is you popular. look hungry. Maybe you should come by mine again for a bite to eat. Oh, ma'am, you know I can't resist that invitation. Hey, it's a hot one today. Stay hydrated. I'll be here if you get thirsty. They really love you around here. Oh, you know how it is. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt our conversation. Oh, no problem. Gotta say, this is quite a crowd. Is it always so busy? Must be tough to watch over such a big beach. From your lips to God's ears. Truth is, there just aren't enough people out there made of real lifeguard material. It takes courage, integrity, and a honed and sculpted body to tame that magnificent blue bitch when she tries to claim a life. Frankly, only so many people have the right stuff, if you know what I mean. And on a beach this big, 
Gotta say, I wouldn't mind a little assistance now and then. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow. All these people and so few lifeguards to watch over them. Someone's to step up if you can help this beach, but uh, keep this beach. Hey, safe. um, uh, do you think I could try helping out as a lifeguard sometime? Yeah? You, Kasuga? Sure, I mean, I might not be at your level yet, Raymond, but I'm glad to do what I can. I've really been enjoying my time at this beach, so I kind of see it as a way of giving back, returning the favor. Hell, I like the sound of that. We need all the help we can get, to be sure. If you're ready to risk your life against those cruel, pitiless waves out yonder, welcome aboard. Um, all right. I think I can do that. So... There's a cat on the beach, I just noticed. Hmm. Well, uh, where should I start? Hey, kitty. Well, I suppose there's lots to be done. Let's see. The sun's high in the sky today. But why don't you wander around and look out for signs of heat stroke? Kasuga, you got some free time now, right? Right now? Of course. Sure, I can do that. Technically, I still got time for it to meet the police officer. Just patrol the beach and see if anyone's overheated? That's right, my man. That big bastard son of ours is fixing to dry us all out from the inside. People out here might not even realize they're dehydrated until it's too late. Wow. I guess you're right. That's pretty scary. Yep. You know it. That's why the Lord made lifeguards. I'll provide you with the H2O. You head round and make sure people drink if they look thirsty. We Stay work in hydrated. shifts for our own safety. Make sure to tag out when you're done. I've lost too many good men because they wanted to heal the whole world their first time out on the sand. Okay, I understand. All right, show the beach what you're made of. Hydrate people suffer from heat stroke within three minutes. Search around while on a beach who seems weak or unwell. Find them and hand them some cool and refreshing water. Oh, you. Oh, I feel dizzy. Hey, hydration check. Cool water incoming. Hmm. Dang, that is a spot. Thanks, brother. Happy to help. Don't go too hard out there, but have fun. Hmm, will do. All right, we saved somebody. How many bottles have left? Looks like nine. What's up? Hello? Ugh. It's all in the mind. I can endure this. Even fire will feel like cool breeze. Must control my senses. Hey, buddy. I don't know what you're trying to do, but please, drink some water. Go, go, go. Damn, this is good. Okay, back to suffering to achieve enlightenment. No, no, no. Heat stroke isn't enlightening. Go meditate somewhere with air conditioning, okay? Mm, that's not what my guru said. But I suppose you could be a spirit guide. I'll trust you for now. How many bottles of it? Alright. Okay, you're good. Oop, I drank too much. This guy, though. <sighs> Is there an earthquake? Everything's sh shaking. Yo! The only thing quaking right now is you. Cool water on the double. Ugh. The ground stopped moving. Wait, was that really just me? Yeah. You were dehydrated. Remember, heat stroke is no heat joke. Man, mm, will do. Did he really do that? He, he, he did. What should I try? What drink should I try next? How about some water? Nah, uh, she's good. Okay, now. Oh! What's wrong with me? You so tired. Whoa, hey now, look at me. You're slurring your speech. Drink some water. Ah, oh, that's better. Was I really just thirsty? We were getting heat stroke. And sigh for taking rest. 
Okay. Okay, thanks, water doctor, or whatever you are. I'm the water doctor. How many bottles? Six, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh guns. Right to that. Oh, the breeze moves up like a golden now. Once they see this tight copper skin, they'll... What happened? Why did everything get blurry? Hey, pal. Hey, uh, oh, hey. Pay more attention to your insides than your outsides. Okay, here, drink this. Oh, damn, that's some good beach juice. What's in there? Taurine, guarana, trace minerals. It's something to cold water, man. You really need some. Take a break and head inside for the day. Oh, all right. I guess maybe I'll go scout bar for some honeys. Hey. Alright, he just has jet lag. Alright, you're good. You're not. Damn. I'm all dizzy. Focus. Gotta get my work done. Hey, slow down. Take a drink of water, will you? Huh? Why am I so thirsty? I've had so much coffee today. Yeah, a coffee doesn't hydrate. Your body needs water, especially out in the sun wearing a suit like that. Guess you've got a point. Don't know why my client wanted to meet up here. I'll find somewhere to rest. Thanks. Oh, we got another one. Uh, I'm like, come to the beach and I suddenly feel sick. Hey there, I think you need to drink something. Hmm. Wow, I actually feel a lot better now. What was in that? Just water. You were looking dehydrated. Find a shady spot and rest up, okay? Okay. That sounds good, thanks. You're just drunk. Nope, no. Oh wait, there's one. Okay, nope, you're good. Alright, let's not mess with the alcoholics. Swell that fat. Need to get trim. Hey, hey, hold on. You're going way too hard. Here, drink slowly. Whoa, oh geez, what happened? Did I black out or something? I must have been so desperate to lose weight. Guess I overdid it. I don't say. Don't get so obsessed with changing your body that you forget to take care of your body. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Maybe I'll take it easy today. Thank you. Man, you're more fit than me. I wish I had that body. I'm getting there. My- oh! Oh no! You're good, you're not. Eh, my body feels heavy. My vision's blurry. Miss, you don't look so good. Here, courtesy of lifeguards. My- that's refreshing. Huh, I guess I haven't had anything to drink since my coconut water this morning. That's hardly enough on a day like this. You're sweating more than you think, so keep hydrating. Good advice. I think I had enough activity for the day. I'll head back to my hotel now. Thank you. There's one more. One more person needs me. Oh, you! These shells are so pretty. Uh, my head hurts. Hey, kid. You're feeling all right. Want some water? That's better. I guess I forgot a drink today. Shell hunting can be lots of fun, but don't forget to hydrate. Yeah? Okay, mister. Thank you. Well, that's all the water I got. Guess I'll report back to Raymond. We saved lives today. Kasuga! You seriously handed out all that water? Incredible! <laughs> there were a lot of people out there who needed it. You're right. You did great, amigo. Let me give you a reward. Resurrection Bolus revives a fallen ally with all of the... Saving that till endgame. And hey, this one's yours. Remember, Kasuga, you're no superhero either. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, damn, that's good. Really does make you appreciate water, huh? 
But man, if that was just one patrol, I can't imagine how many people need help out here every day. Yep, Beach is a captivating siren, a beautiful demon, the most majestic rose hiding the most harrowing thorns. Every happy day out can turn into a nightmare if I'm not careful. But I love seeing smiling faces on the sand, so I'll never quit. Wow, yeah. This really is important work you're doing, huh? Just think, you're saving lives every day. Lifeguards are sort of like heroes. If you let me, I'd love to help out again. That could be arranged, I'd say. Come back another day, and we'll see. Right now, it's time for Raymond to take his patrol. Farewell, Kasuga. See you on the other side. Wow, he's got his hands full. I guess there's a whole lot of beach out here, and not enough people to protect it. Keeping the beach safe, seeing smiles on the sand. Yeah, that's a worthy goal. Don't worry, Raymond. I'll be back to do my part. Shows how important lifeguards are. Right, we are on a roll right now. I'm feeling good. Let's make sure you stay hydrated, guys. We hate for you to collapse. Coconut. Hey. Oh, mangoes, actually. All right, we're just gonna walk along the beach. I was gonna teleport or use a taxi, but I'm just gonna walk there because there could be people and I could wave hi to. I'm starving. You feel like pancakes. I had those for breakfast yesterday at a diner. Oh, they were delicious. Hey, buddy. Hello, what's up? Hey, Cooper. How you been? I might be a natural. Hello. Hello. Hey, Ben. Nice to see you again. Hey. Hey, Claire. Oh, now she's posing. Oh, I take it she. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Don't want anything to do with you. Oh, uh, you guys are all around my quest. Good. Made it. Thank God. Oh, didn't expect to see a Japanese school oh, outfit. Darn it. What should I do? Hmm? Huh? Is that girl all right? Maybe I should talk to her. Let me guess, spying on your boyfriend? Spying on a guy you like. Yo, everything okay? Ah! Woo! Oh, okay, it's a guy she ah! likes and she Thank wants goodness. to give him a note. Okay. It's still safe. Uh, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Just looked like you were worried about something. Oh, uh, I'm fine, thanks, uh, goodbye. Oh, wow. Bye. Wait, you're covered in mud. Uh, mud? Uh, I'm... I'm a mess. Neck deep in love. She likes her senpai. So, that's it. You're waiting for the right moment to confess your love to your classmate? Yes. My school's here on a trip, and my senpai told us this legend. Give your letter to someone buried in the sand, and they'll fall for you. So, I've been watching Ta Tanabe, Tanabe Kun on the beach. He's getting buried right now. What a weirdly specific legend. I agree. It's like, hey, I like you. Take this note. I know you can't escape from me. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry if it cost you the mullet. I feel bad about that. No. No. It's okay. I can't do it. Not now in these dirty clothes, for sure. Tanabe Kun will probably be gone by the time I wash myself off. <sighs> yeah, I can't help but feel like it's my fault she's backing out of this. I wish there was some way. If I had the spare high school girl's uniform, I'd give it to you, but I don't exactly hold on to those. <laughs> well, there is one way. Do you think you could deliver my letter to Tanabe? for me? Huh? Huh? Me? Yes. 
technically, the legend only says that your flesh has to receive your letter while being buried on Aloha Beach. Not necessarily for, from you directly. So, your shirt Tanabe Kun won't end up falling for me instead. That would be weird. <laughs> As long as it's the letter I wrote, you should still fall for me. It's bond between the letter writer and the one buried in the sand. Huh. Got it. Well, I owe you one for startling you. If I can really help, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, my name's Hitomi, by the way. Hitomi Hana Ham Hamabe. Okay. Hitomi-chan, eh? Cool. I'm Ichiban Kazuga. Nice to meet you. Well, let's make sure I got this right. The boy you're looking... Uh, you like his name is Tanabe Kun. Tanabe Kun, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Exactly right. Nice. Got down. Thank you so much for this Kazuka. Kaza. Kaz. Kao. Kao. Kazuka san. Yeah. I'm used to saying Kazuka Kun. Holy cow. Hey, no problem. Tanabe Kun should still be playing with his friends on Aloha Beach. I'm gonna wash my uniform. After you give him my letter, do you think you could bring him to the coconut juice cart for me? Got it. Sure. By the way, what's Tanabe Kun look like? Oh, of course. Here, take this. It's a photo of him. Short haircut, glasses. Okay, I'll keep this in mind. <laughs> He's on the baseball team, you know? He's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Leave it to me. Goodbye. Alright. I'll meet you by the coconut juice cart. Thanks. I'm gonna have to remember that, aren't I? The coconut juice cart. Well then, let's find Tanabe Kun, shall we? A lot of love going around these beaches today. Nancy Chan, now Tanabe. Now, where are you, Tanabe Kun? Whoa. What the hell? Found him. He's right there. Find this kid. It's hard enough. He's in the middle. I can see him. He's right there. I found Waldo. He's right there in the middle. Find the kid would have been hard enough normally. What is this crap? Ah. Okay, everyone face this way. Taking a picture. Huh? Maybe he can help me. No, I found Tanabe. He's something. Hey there. Got a minute? Uh, are you talking to me? I'm looking for Tanabe. Do you know if he's here? Hi. Tanabe? Uh, yeah, but... Sorry, are you an acquaintance of his? Not exactly. I just need to give him a message from another one of your classmates. And, uh, well, I can't spot him in the sea of boys. Ah, uh, sorry. I know he's somewhere in the group, but I'm not sure where exactly. You, you know, you could just be like, Hey, Tanabe, are you here? R really? You... Got no idea. Hi. Hey, Takashi, Ta Takashi. Yeah, Takashi. Mind coming over here? On my way. <sighs> well, nothing left to do but just ask around. Tanabe has short hair and wears glasses. I immediately found him. He's right here. No, no sorry, that's not him. Oh, wait, wait. There he. No. I, I there he is. I found him. This is Tanabe right here. All right, let's actually do this seriously. Hey, Tanabe, how you doing? Tom, Tom, Tom. Sup? Pardon me, I'm looking for Tanabe. Could you point him out to me? Uh -huh. mm, not sure where he is, but I know he's not next to the watermelon. He hates watermelon. Says it's too sticky. That's okay, more watermelon for Thanks. me. Interesting, thank you. Oh. Sup? Hey, excuse me. I'm looking for Tanabe. Have you huh? seen him? Tanabe? Hmm. He's somewhere. I know he's not in the left row, uh, left hand facing row. Not in the left hand face, left hand row facing the ocean. Thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. Sup? Hey there. Do you happen to know where I can find one of your classmates, Tanabe? Uh, Tanabe. Hmm. 
He's in between the yellow and the red parasols, I know that. Thanks. Right, thanks. The yellow and the red... And he hates watermelon, so he wouldn't be next to it, so you're not Tom of eh? Sup? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I'm not exactly sure. He's friends with Sido Kun, though. Pretty sure they were buried face to each other. Oh, yeah, thanks. Hmm. Alright, let's try putting the pieces together. Tanabe is not in the left row, if I'm looking towards the ocean. And he's between the yellow and red parasols. He's facing his friend Saido, and he's not next to a watermelon. Okay. So, he is over here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, make sure. I think this is him. Could this kid be Tanabe? Based on the info I got, Tanabe must be this guy. Time to hand over the love Yo. letter. Hey, excuse me. I've got something for you from one of your classmates. Huh? Oh, what is it? A letter? Um, I can't exactly read it like this. Okay. Oh, right. Here. Let me help you. This is confession of love. Okay. Sweet, is it? The girl who wrote it says she's waiting for you by the coconut juice cart. Can I walk you there? For sure! I really hope that's Tanabe. It's gonna be weird if it's not. Oh, Kasuga-san! Why do you have Jeff with you? God damn it! Hey, looks like we're right on time. Look who I brought. Oh, it's Jeff! Thank you so much. I am. Um... Okay, it is um, okay. Good, good, good. Hanabi kun, I've liked you for such a long time. Will you please go out with me? Hamame san. Yes, it would be my honor. <laughs> this is how youth should be. Actually. I heard about the legend of Aloha Beach, too, so I wrote a letter of my own. Huh? But when I got to the beach, I couldn't find you. Next thing I know, I'm up to my neck in sand. And now, well, your letter got kind of beat up. Give it to me. But... It's not fair that only I gave you my letter. I want to see yours, too. Oh, okay. It's a restraining order. <laughs> it really is ruined. I can't make out a single word, but I love it. I'll treasure this muddy letter forever. Hamabe-san. Hey, why did you send this guy to find me instead of coming yourself? Oh, <laughs> Well, my clothes happened to get dirty. Uh, while I washed them off, Kasuga-san agreed to step in as a pinch hitter. I wasn't about to confess to you in a muddy uniform. <laughs> Your uniform, my letter, what a mess. <laughs> I guess so. Kasuga-san, thank you for everything. Yeah, Kasuga-san. Thanks so much. Here. Let me give you this. Uh, courage pendant. Surges of power, distilling fear, and even the most dire circumstances. <laughs> what a story. I wish you two all the best from here on out. Thanks. Thanks. A legend of Aloha Beach, huh? I wonder if there are any other folks giving letters out there right now. Well, <laughs> kind of embarrassing, right? But I believe it now. Kasuga san. If there's anyone you like, you should definitely try it. Look how it worked for us. Yeah, my girlfriend's Japan. <laughs> all right, and she doesn't all want right. to talk to me. I'll consider it. Speaking of which, I haven't used that dating app in a while. Although, didn't the legend say the person has to be buried in the sand? Sacha? Buried up to her neck? Uh, no. She'd kill me. 
<laughs> a dead given. She would. I can handle anything. Alright. Oh, wait, another side quest. Man, you do one, another one pops up. Mm -hmm. I'll go do this one. Hi, David. <laughs> I'm full on coconut water, man. I want one of these beach chairs for my place. I bet I could slap one together with a little bit of canvas and some wood. Huh? You want to DIY, Tommy? Yeah, I can make most things that you use on the daily, like tables and shelves. Wow, so you're good with your hands. Then can you carve a bear out of wood? Seriously? A wooden bear. I said I make stuff for daily necessities, not trinkets for tourists. But I could take a stab at it. For real? If you ever do, I would proudly put it on display. We're really opening up. DIY. Aloha! Oh, that's alcohol. Do I really want to do this? Yes. What? Oh. Ooh, attack boost. Yeah, that was no. great. Thank you very we are wasted. Oh, this is a nice pool. Um, can you guys not destroy everything? I don't want to get kicked out. Oh, it feels like my head's spinning. For this vacation, I bought a new assemb uh, ensemble of swimsuits. I won't let these young girls show me up. Do what you do, ma'am. Oh, wait. Crystal Aloha Resort Pool. Visit the pool of Crystal Aloha Resort for a fee and take a breather with your friends. Swing by to recover some of your party's HP and MP. You can even interact with your friends deep in your bonds while taking it easy at the pool and or lounging on sofas. Yeah. Grab your swimsuits, enjoy the luxurious resort ambience of Crystal Aloha Resort. So, may I interest you in reserving our hotel's pool? It's available now for your party at only a $500 fee. Oh, huh, you can rent this place out for just 500 bucks. Team, I appreciate it. What should I do? I'm gonna pass, sir. Thank you. Ah, we look forward to your next visit. Yeah, I'm called a pork bit. Time passes at such a leisurely pace here. Wine time, they say. <laughs> Starting to feel like they might be a bit late. I might be a bit late for my flight. Uh, too much to drink. Should I open it? Got it. Ooh. Man, I am ranking. Slowly. But... Alright. Oh, I see the boss of the area. We're gonna go back to the beach, but yeah. That'd be the worst thing, your phone battery dying, but luckily it's easy to solve by just plugging one in the Herald Town. I'm not looking at you, don't look at me. I'm going back to the pool. Can I get out from the pool, by the way? I wanna go there. during the day swim in the pool at night I love it swimming this should this much should be illegal I mean if you love swimming that's good I guess damn it I can't go over that all right we're going back the long way oh wait 
I know we're in the tropics, but it's way hotter today. Wouldn't you want something to cool off on a day like this? Something cold? Oh, let's see. I'll give you some fruit juice. Oh, you sure I can have this? <laughs> Thanks. Looks like it was a good choice. There you go. You're welcome. Oh. Hi. Are you networking, Kazuga? Hey there, Ichiban. Hope you're making lots of Aloha links, because so am I. I'm over at Revolve for one chat. P.S. Do tell me. Curious on uh, I asked about it. Lady, I would, but sadly, I don't think that relationship would last now. Also, god damn it, guys, you knocked the stupid umbrella in the way. Oh, Now we're good friends. Alright, the side quest is there. I can make it. I can make it. Oh man, that looks awful. Oh, come on. Uh huh. The beach chair looks pretty comfy. I've never actually sat on one of those. I am kind of worn out. Look out, chair. Screw it. How often do I get to enjoy the resort living? Look out, chair. Oh. Mmm. Even comfier than I thought. This is the kind of sitting you'd expect from tropical sands. Ooh. I needed this. Now just to rest my eye. Oh, wow. I slept a long time. Uh -huh. Granted, I'd probably do the same thing. The sound of the beach, the mood of just the warm breeze hitting you just right under umbrella. Eh, sounds nice. Oh, I really passed out. Damn, that was a good rest, though. The whole body feels refreshed. Lighter. No, wait. Did someone steal all my items? I feel heavier. Up here, my head feels heavier. Wait, what? <laughs> Chirp? Wait a second. Is that Chocobo Chick from Final Fantasy 13? Saz? Is that you? What? What the hell's going on up there? Yeah, this is immediately a FF13 Saws with the baby Chocobo Chick scenario for me. There's something in my hair! <laughs> Home the roost. <laughs> nice. Cheep, cheep. What the heck is there a bird in my hair? Now, oh, come on. Can you shoo? You're pretty heavy. <laughs> Stop, ow! Stop it! Stop pecking me! You're really not gonna fly off? <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Huh? Oh, pretty. Are these feathers from someone you know? I guess you were living up there, huh? Yeep. Doesn't seem like the wind blew it down. Could oh, I could try finding your mom. Where would we even look? I'm out of my element here. What should we do? <laughs> Oh, I'm hungry. Guess I could keep an eye out for Mama Bird while I eat. Deep, deep. Oh, sound good to you too? All right, let's get some food. Deep, deep. So, what should I call you anyway? What's a good bird name? Oh, maybe something American, considering where you're from. You know, I once saw this anime set overseas, and the main character's pet was named Joseph. I forget if it was a dog or a bird, but not bad, right? Joseph Joestar. All right. Your new name is Joseph. Hee! Oh, like it, do you? Okay, Joseph, let's find some food. Hee! <clears throat> You're really not taking off, huh? Oh, 
Kind of weird to walk around like this. I have to keep the strength up in my neck. I think they sell pet food at the ABC store. Let's see if I can get over there. Well, oh, get to the ABC store before Kazuka's neck gives out from strain. Joseph's weight can throw Kazuka off balance, so it won't be an easy walk. Straight. Popping into people or objects will cause you to stumble or regaining your footing takes time. Cars and sumo wrestlers are... Why are there... Why are there sumo wrestlers? I wonder where your mama might be. <laughs> we'll find her. I'm sure of it. After we get some food, we'll keep looking, okay? <laughs> what the hell? Sumo wrestlers? Why are they practicing outside? Can't get too close or Joseph and I'll get flattened. Let's just... Goodbye cautiously. All right, so far so good. Lots of folks on the street right now. Need to be careful where I walk. I might fall if I bump into anyone. Keeping my balance like this is way harder than it looks. Ugh, I can barely walk straight. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Ooh, made it somehow. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Aloha. Aloha. Hey. Hey, got a hungry little fella here. You carry any food he might like? Little fella? Um, he's gone. Oh. Chi? Oh. Your name is Saz and you're from FF13 and your son is a crystal and you're trying to bring him back? Oh. Okay, I see now. Cute customer. Give me one sec. Sorry, my friends are on Pale World, so after this, I'll be calling it. Thanks for waiting. Here, I blend up some nut pellets for your buddy. Cheer, 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 cheer. Thanks. Hey, now that's good eating. Appreciate it. Hey, well, how about we find a place to sit down? Joseph, you didn't even leave my hair to eat. I'll be washing out crumbs for weeks, I bet. <sighs> ah, crap, I completely forgot to get food for myself. But I still need to get you back on the hunt for this. I still need to get on the back. For this. Blah, 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 blah. I still need to get back on the hunt for this guy's mom. What do I do? Well, no point standing around. Guess I'll try looking for the mama bird. Why not? Well, I find myself some food too. Oh! Huh? Whoa, what the hell? Those feathers. Joseph, is that your mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess my work here is done. Mother and child reunited. Now, I wonder why she flew off in the first place. Got her! Over here! This way! Uh, what? I did. I know that Hawaii is part of the U.S. by extremely doubt they have an open carry law for sniper rifles in the city. Hmm? Whoa, who are you guys? What's with the guns? Piss off, bro top. You're getting in the way of our business. What business is that? The parrot's a rare breed. We're going after it to, uh, protect it. Huh? Now move. No. Protect it from what? Assholes and ugly vests? Let me guess, you two are the ones who knocked down the old, their, their old nest, aren't you? 
Now you're cons not your concern, pal. We ain't lying. We're gonna treat it well. Only the highest quality taxidermy job. Golden parrot like that? You can't risk damaging it. It's sloppy shooting. Poachers. You two are filth. Squawk. Huh? Hey, boss. He's got the baby. If we catch that one and plump it up, it'll be even worth more than the mother. <laughs> oh, our lucky day. One in the hand and one in the hand is one in the bush. Look, I promise those birds will end up real nice collect to up with some real nice collectors. Just give us the chick and walk away. And if I don't, huh? <laughs> I'll blast you open and take the bird ourselves. Just try it. I'd rather keep this bird in my hair for the rest of my life than give it to you. I don't care how much he weighs or eats or squawks or shits. I'll bury you. The battle is on. Oh, the bird's staying in my hair. Why are you too many? Oh, damn, there's no way. Damn, yeah, it's not gonna happen. There's just no way to fight. Oh, yeah, I can make the air trap. Ow. He fell into the river! He's dead! I killed him! Alright, this should be the end probably. Still shocked, uh... Two people wielding snipers in the open. Nothing happens. God, what the hell? Damn it. Retreat. Yo. Hey. What? I don't even... Ever. I don't ever want to fight you poaching again. Try it. You will have us to answer to. Squawk. Ugh, fine, you win. I renounce my ways. Oof, that was a close one. Tweet, tweet. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, you two. I hope you make a great new nest together, safe and sound. Chirp, chirp. Hmm? Huh? Hey, Joseph, don't tell me you missed my hair already. Well, I know what it's like not having a home. I can't just turn my back <laughs> on you. Hmm. All right, let's figure this out. Chirp. You're with your mother. Leave me alone. <laughs> There. Not bad, huh? From now on, you can stay right here. So, Joseph, how do you like it? Feel like home? <laughs> nice, nice. Music to my ears. You can stay as long as you want, and nobody's gonna come after you here. And your mom can rest easy knowing how much you love this kind of spot. Uh, wait. Where'd mama go? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Great. Like mama, like bird, I guess. Great. Now the mama's in my hair. Alright, that one's done. Are we okay? Give uh, me another shot. <clears throat> Alright. We're gonna call it here. We gone long enough. Long enough. But yeah, until next time, I will see you later. And I'll probably just go straight into the uh, main story area. I'll try and get to them all. I'll, you know. I'm not going to worry about, you know, doing the uh, any more side quests for now. Because I they'll stay there no matter what for now. But until then, I'll see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>